for the mass broadcast of the construct data. Hello YouTube, hello subscribers, hello general public, Earth, you got a copy. This is your captain speaking, the master and commander of this YouTube vessel with the location of the tilde www.youtube.com forward slash Jason Matthew Glass period. We are in this continuum location of June 24th, 2022. And I'm about to tell you what I've been up to and what I'm going to get up to. As you may or may not know, I've been thinking about kicking around, spitballing ideas for ways to correct this vessel, not just the YouTube vessel, but the, my construct in general, for the maintenance of rule one, rule equal. Now let me just give you a little background. When I started this back in February of 2018, and I began investing thousands of hours in creating YouTube videos, YouTube content, teaching correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, my thought was that well, if I take the time to invest all of these thousands of hours into these videos, take that time and ship it out to the public, transship it out to the public for free, so to speak, that it will come back to me, that people will appreciate it. What you put in is what you get out. Now, what I found was my idea of that was a little different than how it actually turned out. Because in a, a literal sense, even though for a very long time I had put a PayPal link up in the About section, and I actually uh, announced that in a few videos, since February of 2018, only one individual ever used that link to send any donation or gift to me in appreciation for the over 300 videos that I have on this channel which was a very interesting and beautiful lesson that was taught to me now keep in mind when I say gift I mean gift these 300 plus videos are my gift to my fellow mankind I don't expect anything in return I don't my idea was my thought was because of the way cosmic laws work, or my idea of what cosmic laws are, that it would translate into people being appreciative to it and sending value donations back and that, that I would receive what I put into it in the, within the buoys that I had guessed that I would. But that guess was wrong. It was very wrong. Of course, I received the value back in different ways, in other ways, but not literally. There was no literal rule one, rule equal maintenance there because it's a gift. And if you know what a gift is, you know what I'm talking about. When someone sends a gift, there is no expectation of a return on the gift. There is a performance of rule one, rule equal, however. In one way or another, you are going to participate with that in one way or another. Whether you do it consciously or whether it just happens. It will happen. I have found this out. So in any case, and in every case, if your vessel is not navigating in a smooth, healthy positive manner then your vessel becomes erratic perhaps it takes on water perhaps you get sick if we're talking about our body vessels if it's out of balance it gets sick you have to balance it in order for you to be able to maintain a forward steady geometric level playing field of navigation for yourself Every vessel is the same, pretty much. And this YouTube vessel is no different. And my construct is no different. So therefore, 
because things were getting out of balance, I was looking around for methods to bring the balance back, to correct it and bring it back into balance so that we can move forward uh, with my goals that I had put in place for the construct with regards to quantum grammar. And if you've been paying attention to this YouTube channel for the past month or two, or even three, I've been making suggestions. I've been saying, well, I might do this, I might do that, I might put it into the confidential, I might blah, blah, blah. And what I ended up starting to do, and this is just the beginning, is implement memberships. There are two tiers of memberships on this channel, which I've already done an introductory video for that, and you can check that out to find out what those tiers are. I am also going to implement other tiers further on down the line to further separate or to further identify, credential those truly serious individuals who are willing to participate with one, rule one, rule equal and put in what they get out. Because I just ask you for one moment, ladies and gentlemen, one moment, think about what this knowledge would be worth. What do you think it's worth? What would you be willing, if someone was charging a fee to learn this, what would you be willing to pay for it if, if the end result was you becoming autonomous and being a steward of your contracts, or to use more fictional terms, to have complete 100% control of your contracts in the fiction and in the fact. To be autonomous. To be your own authority. What would that be worth to you? And again, I've used this sort of uh, example in the past. People are more than willing to just throw money out the window to an attorney when they get into a legal situation. You have to get an attorney. You have to. So then you end up paying, what, a $2,000 retainer? And what is it, $50 for every single email or letter that gets sent? And so on and so forth. These things add up, but people have no problem throwing money at that. But for some reason, they don't want to spend a dime on this. Which puzzles me. Like, they think it should be free. I have one guy actually say... To me, in a comment, telling me, Jason, it's reward enough that you're teaching this to the public. You don't need to get paid for it. Which caused me to think, oh, he said education should be free. So if education should be free, then I guess this guy's saying that every single teacher on planet Earth should be working for free. And, but then how are they going to feed their families? I mean, these, these individuals that think like this don't think the whole way through. They're like, I guess, think of themselves as the exception to this rule. Because whatever they do for a living, whether they build houses, do plumbing work, maybe they do landscaping, maybe they're in the stock market, maybe they're uh, you know, stockbroker, real estate agent. Maybe they should work for free. Maybe it's reward enough for them. Uh, maybe their bosses shouldn't have to pay them. And they should just work for free, right? I mean, why not? No, seriously, folks. That's not the world we live in. Everyone must eat. Everyone must have a roof over their head. I mean, if that's how you choose to live your life. Some people don't eat. Some people don't have roofs over their head. But in any case, I think you get my point. All right? Everyone must carry their own water. And everyone must do that to the best of their knowledge, skill, and ability in how we interact with others, in how we uh, decide to do that for our biospheres and for our families, clans, and tribes. So that's where I'm at, and that's why I've implemented the memberships, and I'm going to be implementing more tiers as I go along. I've also uh, been kicking around the idea of doing a seminar. And I think it's funny that people that 
that do comment and like they're offering great suggestions all right but i feel like this is just the impression that i have and this is not a fact this is just a an impression people offering advice like well you should schedule it at this time because this is the time i'm awake or this is my part of the world see the thing is I have students all over the earth from all different time zones. I know where my, the majority of my students are based. Of course, I'm going to, if I do a seminar, I'm going to schedule that seminar to take place at the convenience of the place where the most students would be, the most interested students. Now keep in mind that for this seminar, if I decide to go through with it, there are some terms and conditions. Number one, there is a test that I must give you face to face on a video Zoom meeting. I would provide the venue, location, and all that stuff. And it would just take five minutes. And it would just be me asking you a couple very simple, correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar questions. And depending upon how you answer them, depends upon how you if you pass or fail the test in the most literal sense of the term you must be willing to do that if you pass that part of it that test then of course would be the rule one rule equal performance the fee for freight now before the fee for freight would be put up of course there would be a location identified or credentialed, meaning I would already have the location, i.e. time and date that this seminar would take place. If you're in accordance with that time and date, then the fee for freight would have to be produced and docked within the banks of my construct. And once all that's completed, then we can move forward with the seminar and then you can attend. Very simple. But that's if I even go forward with the seminar because there's a caveat to that as well in that in the five years I've been teaching this, hundreds of people all over the earth, I found there is no substitute or shortcut to the one-on-one -on -one workshops that I provide. The one-on-one -on -one workshops I provide to teach this grammar are the most efficient, fastest way for people to learn. Some people just want to do everything they can to not do a workshop. I mean, that's what I perceive it to be. You know, they don't want to for some reason. They're willing to do this, that, and a third, everything except for doing a workshop. And that's why I say the most serious students will sit down, they will maintain rule one, rule equal, they will invest the value for my now space continuum and do workshops if they really want to learn this. Of course they're more than welcome to go elsewhere and they're more than welcome to participate with any other teacher that they deem, uh, how can I say this, qualified to teach this, that will give them these closures. I mean, Everything, all the knowledge that I provide in the workshops is provided on my YouTube channel in the 300 plus videos. There are no secrets or tricks. The reason why I say it's the most efficient way to learn is because I'm there as your guide. And because it's one on one, I can look you in the eye basically and just tell where you're at. I can see, for example, if we're walking through. Just to use an analogy, if we're walking through a minefield, I know where all the mines are. And I can test you to see where you're going to step next, constantly. And if I see your foot is about to drop on a mine, I of course will grab you and move you so that you don't step on that mine. That's the difference between the workshops and the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel, you don't have a guide. You're your own guide. You're navigating on your own cognizance and level of skill and understanding and, and cognition and knowledge so if you step on a mine that's on you 
I provided the field. Um, that's not to say that there are mines in the field on my on my YouTube channel. That's perhaps a, not a bad a, that's a bad analogy. Let's say instead of a mine, let's say that there's uh, maybe some muddy spots, you know, some some rocky spots, some places in the field where there are no trees. You know, some places there's trees. There's a nice there's a path through the field that that is shaded and has water. You know, a river. Um, and if I'm your guide, if you do the workshops, I can guide you to those areas and make your, your progress very comfortable for you and fast, and you'll get through the field faster than if you would if you were doing it on your own and you didn't know that river was there and you didn't know the trees and the shade were there and you walked through the hot sun the whole time and it would you would just be slower and whatever. I don't know where I'm going with this. This is kind of goofy, but I hope you get my point. That is why people come to me for the workshops because I provide that guidance to them and mentorship and the psychology and all of those things back to the seminar so the seminar my vision for the seminar the particular one that I'm that I'm thinking of right now yes there would be a little bit of grammar in the seminar but since I'm giving a test to certify your level of grammar knowledge and you pass that test this seminar would have more to do with things like document creation, correct sentence structure document creation, postal mechanics, banking mechanics, uh, C pass C treaty, navigating with this stuff in a now space continuum scenario, um, things like that, salvaging, law of salvage, all based upon, you know, firsthand knowledge and credentialing, stuff that I know has worked for me. So, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So that's pretty much what the seminar would be about if I choose to do it. Now, as far as this YouTube channel goes, um, I'm going to be producing uh, at least, at the bare minimum, two videos per work, two uh, per week. Hopefully, there's the Wednesday members live stream, member subscriber live stream at uh, 1300 hours Eastern Standard Now Space. And that's simply a live stream where I will talk about a topic and only subscribers can comment. And if a member, if you're a member and you ask a question, I will definitely answer it. You will be given priority. Subscribers may ask questions too, but I may not necessarily answer them. This is for maintenance of rule one, rule equal, and the balancing of the vessel, as I've stated before. And the other video I'm gonna be trying to get out there, which is proven to be actually quite a challenge, is the Now Space News, the weekly Now Space News, where I try to publish it at uh, 2300 hours on Saturday of every week, where I just do a roundup of the news headlines, and sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll syntax or parse, and use correct sentence structure as I look at the news. There's been a lot of great suggestions out there uh, with regards to how I could do this or different things, different uh, subjects I could add in there. But the thing is for use people, use people, my goodness, apologies. The thing is for you individuals out there sending suggestions, please keep in mind if you've ever created a video, the time it would take to create what it is you're suggesting. And if it's not, if it's something that takes a long time to do, I probably won't do it. Because again, you know, this isn't all that I do, you know, make videos. There's a lot of other things that I also have to do. And also on the weekends is family time. So I try not to quote unquote work on a weekend. Anybody who's emailed me knows that my normal hours of operation for my construct is 1,000 hours through 1,500 hours, Monday through Friday, Eastern Standard Now Space. And so to do this video on the weekend, I'm trying it out for a little bit, but if it's not, you know, if it's not, doesn't get a lot of views and stuff, I'm probably not going to do it anymore. I'll probably have to figure out something different. But for now, it's fun, and I will continue to do it for the foreseeable future. Also. 
the podcast for the Quantum Grammar Shoot. Probably going to do two or three more episodes of that until I get to episode 99. And then I'm cutting it. I'm going to beach that vessel. Um, probably take the whole thing off the internet for a while. And then later on, see if I can package it up in one bundle. And then for those who want to invest value in it, I'll put out a, a venue where they can um, pay the fee for freight to, uh, to get the whole vessel as a whole. So that means right now, all those episodes on SoundCloud and on Anchor are available to anyone who wants them. You can download them, do what you want, but they're not going to be there forever. That I can say. That's about it. Uh, hmm. All right. So again, if you want to do a workshop, email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. You can apply for a workshop. I'll schedule a 10 to 15 minute video consultation for you. And uh, we'll see if that's what you really want to do. Other than that, um, that's all I got to say for today. Appreciate your viewership, members. Shout out to the members. I appreciate you loyalists and loyalists contributors. A lot of great things to come. There's some new things that are in the works that I haven't mentioned, but I be, will be rolling them out, basically. Also, oh, I for, forgot to mention this. The Coral Blade Grotto channel. Um, I started that as an experiment because I wanted to publish material that um, appealed to people who perhaps were still in the fiction and maybe had no idea what correct sentence structure was and that by publishing videos over there in a more fiction presentation that it would lead them to correct sentence structure. And I've been doing that for a couple months now. However, you know, as an experiment, the subscriber count is not where I would like it to be. So just like the podcast, that vessel is probably going to be beached as well. I'm probably going to bring that in to dock and moor it and cover it up and let the dust bunnies take care of it. And uh, just concentrate on the stuff that people find value in, which quite obviously is this YouTube channel. That's where I want to concentrate my, my energy towards the people who seriously want to learn this, who want to maintain rule one, rule equal. I mean, why would I concentrate on anything else? Each one of us only has a finite amount of energy and now space. And so why not concentrate that in places where it is wanted and valued rather than in places that it's not? Thanks for watching and Peace. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.